This is how we play. Do that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. He oh, did shit, never man. specifically said not to hit his arm. Why did you hit his arm? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Damn it. What an asshole. Shit. Roll damage. Oh, uh, shit. He even At said. Least... He even said. At least this is my shittiest. Uh... Oh. <laughs> We're just gonna kill him ourselves at this point. Yeah, at least that's my shittiest way. Oh, like pretty good damage too. <laughs> He's so. taking twelve damage. It's not even the first. <laughs> not even all the way to the Sorry. first round. This is nice. bullshit. I, I am already at less than half health. Okay. Oh, you're yeah, already, bloody. already bloody. This is unbelievable, can, you guys. I can get you. Um. Oh, good I combat. Guess... You still have a minor I action. I know, but can I realistically hit with my glaive and then pull my bow out and shoot it once? Nope. I don't think so. I, I can't know. believe that both of us have rolled two. I know. Nat yeah, ones. Yeah. Natural ones, yeah. It's um, for sure. Can I use my last minor action to make an ability check to try and perceive if there's more of these things waiting? Um, No. Or Instead, nature? Or nature? Yes, roll a nature. Okay. Because before you go to glance around, you're going to need to try to identify what this thing is. Um, so the creature is a splinter waif. Um, they splinter are waif. deadly clever um, hunters. Um, some people say that they might be um, insane dryads that somehow survived the destruction of their trees. Um, and one of the reasons that people make that claim is that they're known for being able to fuse with botanical matter which is something the dryads do with their trees. Uh, so the reason that you didn't see this thing as you were coming in isn't because it was camouflaged and hiding. It's because it was literally fused with the bark that makes up the decoration in the wall. Yeah, it was the bark. Exactly. Like, the point where so, it was impossible to see. It, yeah. There could be six more of them in this space, and you would have no way to spot them because they would be the wall. I would relay this information saying, hey, this is a splinter wave. We cannot see them if they are here or not. So we need to get Never out of there. If I said I was ready to die. <laughs> so I, Seems that that won't become true. So no. I only used a partial of my movement. Can I use the rest to get out of the doorway? No. You cannot split move and Sorry. fire in this system. Instead of moving, well... Because I used two Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll let you. Actually, I'll let you make a movement because... You don't necessarily need to take the action for a, for a knowledge check to identify a creature when you see it. Because it's not like okay. you see a creature and then pull out a book to try to identify it with your field guide or something. You either know what it is or you don't. Okay, so the issue here is I can't split movement, is what you're saying. Yeah, but you can make okay. a second movement because you shouldn't have had to take an action for that second for, for that ability, ability okay, for that like skill to, roll. Then I'd like to get out of the doorway beside him and done okay galathar that's my name what will you do um <clears throat> do better than i did please <laughs> i'm gonna shoot never hey what <laughs> are you <laughs> Put him out of the me. you roll a negative uh, a nat one you hit the enemy <laughs> do you mean you're planning to shoot him by accident because your luck is bad well, that's that was the joke that I'm going is knowing yeah. on luck it might happen. But I am actually aiming towards the enemy. That is the Craig statement. I'm using my light crossbow. I feel like once Never's out of the area, then I can blow him up with fire. Oh, I'm I'm soon going to be out of the way. Don't worry. <laughs> Never I can heal you. Eh? And I'll yell. Sorry. Okay. Um. So you fire the crossbow. You, never. you fire the crossbow and it hits the bark where the splinter wave is coming out of it, but you don't seem to have injured the creature, which is a ripoff. 
because there should be creature there. <laughs> but instead, it's just bark, apparently. Uh, that sucked. But all right. In fact, I will now note, since you realize this, that the creature has cover in its current situation. Oh, okay. All right, Never, what will you do? You're being manhandled by a thorny monster. Um... Monster handled. As well as you're being attacked by a splinter wave. Uh, can I use my Warhammer, or does that take both hands? Um, under the current circumstances, I would say... Well, actually, by the rules, there's nothing stopping you from doing that, so yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna use my Warhammer to attack. Um, so... I should be able to... I'm gonna just roll a d20 plus one for, to hit it. Is that, that good? Did you hear me, or...? Uh, uh, your attack bonus should be at least a plus seven. Well, just for accuracy, right? Correct. That's an attack roll. Oh, okay. Wait, where is my plus... I don't know, I, I got no idea. Um, okay, so plus seven. It's a God plus, damn it. It's a plus four for strength. Because you have a... A, a plus four strength modifier. Almost all weapons have a proficiency bonus of two or higher. This is a hammer. It's definitely two. So that would already be six. And you have a base attack bonus because you are a first level fighter. And that's a one. So it should be seven. In fact, there could be I reasons rolled, why it might be higher I rolled than that. A 13 anyways. Yes, you rolled a six on the die, which is very bad. And a 13 is not a successful hit. The thing dodges need, your swing. Do I need to roll damage? Because if I accidentally hit my own arm... No, you couldn't have accidentally hit your own arm because you need both hands in order to use the the maul. Are you using a maul? Or is it just a warhammer? I think that's where the warhammer. nat one thing comes it's in. It's a warhammer. If you, yeah. if you rolled a nat one, then possibly you would have hit yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, Fuck. Do you I do anything else this turn? Besides miss? <laughs> um, I try to glean something from my surroundings. Roll of perception. Jesus fuck. Um, never hit. I presume that you have a plus zero to perception because that's what that would seem to be. I do have a plus zero to perception. Wow, you weren't very likely to spot anything anyway with this burning of a minor action. <laughs> uh, you spot a splinter wave. It is a thorny monster that has a hold of you and it is fused with the wall. It's really horrible and frightening. Ah, I know its name now. Yeah, somebody well, shouted that earlier. Like, so I it, yelled out it was a splinter. I guess that makes sense for never. Now, um... Yeah, it took a while for him to put the thing that you shouted together with the monster. What can you do? Um, you have another I minor know. action. I never know anything. That's why my name's never. You have another minor action. What will you do with it? Nothing. I can't think of anything else to do. Hit it again? No, not with a minor action. You can attempt to escape the grapple. I'll do that. Do that. Hey, yeah, uh, do that. Yeah. uninformed opinion, do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, you're going to want I can set up a fire. You're Is that wanna, acrobatics? You're going to want to try an athletics. Athletics. Your athletics. All right, that is, is my best, that was my best thing. Man, I should have given him my boots. Shit. God damn it. I rolled it wrong. 
How? I didn't what? know you could do that. I didn't. That? Yeah, I don't know. What the hell is that coding? It's for. Oh, it's for shit like. There we um, go. I rolled worse. Or... I rolled worse than the eight. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so he rolled an eight, so a nine would have been one success. Uh. <laughs> Yes, that's correct. Now, uh, this is bad for you. This is very bad. Cool. Great. Uh, you do not escape the grab. Does a 17 escape it? Because that's what I rolled the first time. Uh, no. Um, oh. All right. You take five damage at the beginning of its turn. Okay. Oh, God. Huh. How far is my healing... I'm at six health. It's, it's turn again. When is my turn at? Uh, right after it's. Okay. Roll a. Oh shit. Mm, this is gonna suck. Mm. I need you to roll armor with a disadvantage. Yeah. Me? I think this is. I think this has gone about as badly as it could have. You're gonna die on the first monster. That's my armor. Yeah. The AC. Yes. The AC. You're gonna roll okay, your so... armor with disadvantage. Nineteen. What? Oh shit! I didn't type that right. Nineteen and fifteen. That's. Huh? All right. Um, because it still has a hold of you, it bites down. You take six damage. All right, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. Never Jesus. is unconscious at zero hit points. Does that release the grab on him? Uh, no, it's still holding him. Oh, oh, so it can still just take me out. Well, it's hungry. It's, it's, its plan is to eat you. <laughs> All right, uh, it is now Johnny's turn. All right. We're probably going to have to beat the monster before we grab him, can't we? Apparently. If you can throw I'm, him out of the I mean, hallway. My, my character is already dead. This is the unluckiest I have ever been with my characters. I take however many damage responsibility, though. <laughs> I take seven responsibilities. <laughs> so should I try to grab him or kill the monster? Uh, it's your choice. Yeah. I, can um, get him. I, can I might get him lose up. my arm. But the thing is, I can get him up, but only once. So if you can get him out of there and we can get him up, then he won't be in danger of going down and dying for real. Would it be just like a strength check to pull him out? It's, or... it's your call, though, I think. This is what I fucking get for opening the door. Um, <laughs> it would be in athletics. That thing's usually very good at it. Very few are as good at it as a uh, Goliath, though. Yeah, I guess I'll try to do that. You have to get... Well, I guess your large size category, you can reach from there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Technically. I pretty much filled the whole hallway here. The reach is supposed to be that that you could theoretically make an attack with a weapon at that range. Um, you should probably have to move closer to actually get a hold of the guy. So I do have to move? You should move. Where to, as long as it's adjacent to never, is fine. You can try it from over there, but you're going to lose your advantage if you're just at the very edge of your reach. Okay. Uh, I guess here. All right. For the best. Uh, plus seven. Ah, yeah. All right. That's a good one. Where do you want him? You can have him in any space adjacent to your person. 
is can I just drag him out now or actually um you can but you'll provoke from the splinter week from the splinter week oh uh, I'll yell I'll yell out we don't know how many more there are could just be one could be five you want me to move him here and then I, I honestly don't know what we need to do but don't put yourself in danger that you can't handle. Yeah. Because I can only heal once and I have to wait 20 or something minutes. What do you do? Do we have to do a heal check first? You don't have to do. He regains consciousness? No, oh, okay. he'll, if he, if he gets magic healing, he'll come up. Okay. You raise a good point though, man. If, if we get him out of there and just heal check him, then we can yeah. save the magic healing in case. Yeah, but can you? Know. Who do you have who's any good at Well, that, that was my question is, can we get him to one HP and then give him the magical HP for a little, you know, just that additional one? <laughs> <laughs> every every little hit counts, man. I'll know well, that if you crit fail, um, you actually injure them. Well, I'm trained yeah. in healing. That's... Same. We just so crit. Maybe if I could convince the DM have advantage. <laughs> uh, good luck with that. Well, hmm. okay, I'll give it to you here. Now I'm almost rooting for my death just because it would be such an incredible odds. I. That once. I. No, just the, the circumstances has just been me. Yeah. Yeah, you are quite remarkably unlucky thus far. Um, tell me about it. Fuck. But the this place shouldn't count necessarily as being part of the monastic faction, but it is a mm. place you're very familiar with, and you've been trained to do all this stuff. So, I think I'm giving it to you here. It is the okay, same religion well, technically. It's fine. I think I, I think it's the best thing is just to try run out, even if I get the even if I do give them the opportunity. Just all to right. drag them out. Yeah. Very heroic. True. Yeah, so let's do that. Roll an armor defense. Oh, what is that? It's going to try and eat you. It's yeah. so a D, D20 plus your AC bonus. Right? Well, armor defense? Well, the armor bonus, yes. Yeah. So my AC? Yeah. Okay. Eh. Seventeen. You take. Wait, actually, that's specifically. That's not what that does. Bah, it's fine. Um, it is glancing. Uh, you take two damage. Cool. When it scrapes you with its thorny claws. Glancing uh, for the wing. Yeah. And then yeah, you can get oh, you can go up to half your movement, dragging never with you. As long as he. Galathar, <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but they're. Be yeah. Here. All um, right, Bellar, uh, what do you do? Uh, is a heal check a minor or an action? It is a minor action. Um and. I guess this is metagaming. If I fail, that's two, right? Um, two fail. If I crit, fail. If you crit, fail, he automatically loses a, um, a, death, uh, save. a death save. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So I, I think I will heal check because worst case, I can use my full action just to heal him if I really fuck up. <laughs> that's true. But if I if I pass the heal check, then we can get him out of there and then. If we keep fighting, I'll still have a heal in the in the basket. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. So plus what's my heal? Nine. 
You said advantage because I, I begged for it. Like a... <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you always ask and you never get it. And this place makes almost as much sense as any place could. Are you <laughs> kidding? <laughs> you just crit fail? Ah, Thank you for the so advantage. Yeah. You shouldn't have given him that. <laughs> <laughs> let, fate, let fate decide. Jesus Christ. That if it really... It wants my character to die, seriously. No, so when I DM on Roll20, I have never rolled a single in that one in my life. As soon as I'm a <laughs> character, I've rolled multiple every single session. I have hit my own party every single session. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Um, uh, does, a, does a 27 stabilize him? Yes, he stabilizes. Okay. So that's a minor. Um, I'm not strong, but I'd like to drag him a bit further. Maybe like two or three spots. As much as I can drag him away from that hallway. Okay. I'm, I'm a meaty boy, so that's going to take athletics, I think. I know. I, I want to do what I can to get you not up against the hallway that's full of murder trees. If you just take the rest of the round, you can move him two squares, no questions asked. Deal. I'll, uh, I'll put him where my character is right now. Right there. If that's two squares. And then I'll move there or there, whatever. Or I guess <laughs> I'd be there. All right, Galathar. Is, is this like a high-level dungeon, or are we just that unlucky today? I mean, there were a lot of ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we didn't even Galathar. get to the point that you were rolling a death save, so... Galathar, fuck him up. We'll see. <laughs> if he feels like it. He, he, he tries to shoot magic, and it accidentally shoots from the back of his hand, and then hits me. Oh, um. <laughs> I mean, never stabilized. That's the important That's part. That's true. How close do I have to be for a close burst three? I'll show you. So, uh, burst? yeah. Um, That's what it said. Johnny, this is how it usually goes, just so you know. <laughs> oh, not burst blast. Okay. Sorry, I misspoke. So you bet. Why do I always do this to myself? Um, close means that it has to start adjacent to you. Blast means that it goes from that point out. And three is a diameter of three spaces. Okay. So. It'll look like this, and then you decide where you want to place it. it. Has to be somewhere adjacent to your person. All right, come here. Come here, red circle. Can you not control it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, never's crawling around. Tree man, <laughs> you didn't you didn't finish him off, tree man. Uh, whatever. I I still kind of like. There's a, a part of me that wishes that the crit fail was the one that won that. <laughs> I mean, me too. I had a backup plan, but <laughs> I honestly cannot believe how many fucking nat ones I've gotten with Roll Twenty in the last like month of playing. Oh, man. Why isn't she just like in the chat? I have shot a party member in every episode I've played. Yeah, it's been outrageous. Okay. What were you doing? All right. I am going to burn the shit out of him with my hands. All right. You use burning <laughs> hands. Galthar, never's dead. Look what they did to them. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, He'll be fine. Um, we got to inspire him to go Super Saiyan. I'm going <laughs> to do the... Wait, are you going to give it to me? 
Well, I'm going to give you advantage because you're using it in a hallway and the walls that it's fused with are made out of bark. Wood. Yeah, this place is very, very burnable. <laughs> you picked the best spell. So what would advantage bump it up to? It means you roll again and take the better of the two rolls. That's right. You did, too. You just weren't patient. Or didn't know I was talking to you. Which, thinking about it, is quite likely now. That's a better. What the hell? Fry those fuckers. He could go to the engineer to get a robot arm. <laughs> Do we have an actual Dude, that'd engineer? that'd actually be cool. Because I don't think the wise woman deals in robot arms. Um, That's kind of what I wanted to do. Let's see. A 24 is definitely sufficient. Nice. I hope so. If you're putting up stuff against AC 25 or higher monsters, we need to fucking run. Uh, yeah, I suppose Uglek the Goblin might be able to make you a robot arm. Is, do I not have an arm anymore? You have an arm, you're fine. <laughs> um, so... I mean, he did get hit with a fucking sword. <laughs> Uh, it screams and screams and screams. The target is bloodied. The hallway is filled with fire. All of the walls with its bark go up in flames. Um, the smoke billowing out of the now um, impending destruction of this hallway uh, fill up that whole area. So this is pretty much impassable now. <laughs> Let it burn. We'll wait out. <laughs> would that uh, would that smoke fall under my endure elements? As in, smoke doesn't bother you anymore. Well, no, because you'll die of smoke inhalation if you try to okay. go through that hallway. <laughs> but we're we're good in the room we're in, though. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's smoky um, in an annoying kind of way, but not in a life threatening kind of way. All right, that's your standard action and your move ma your move action. What will you do with your minor action? I'm gonna try not to die from a coughing fit. All right. Because um, I don't know what else I can do. Other I mean, than... I would suggest you move out of the room <laughs> that that you have laid waste to. So you could All use right. a minor action as a move action. Yes. Okay. Angel's trying to fucking maim me. I have slid over here. Holy shit, guys! The room's on fire. <laughs> good job, uh, good job Galvar. He room, actually survived. Yeah. He actually, he actually made it. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, you get out of there. The room is um, awash with doom in a flamey kind of way. Uh, Never is unconscious but stable with one hit point. Um, and there's a lot of screaming and horror happening in that room. Um, <laughs> Can I just use my magic to bring never alive bring never alive yes. yeah my English is bad but can I use my spirit <laughs> life to yeah. heal him for 2d8 plus whatever yes um, but before that the screaming sound in the room um, is followed by a crashing sound as the creature bounces around in there wailing and crying um, and then finally silence flamey smoky silence I love you Galathar did you guys hear that? <laughs> um, I'm just drooling on the floor. Don't mind me. Galathar, you know, I meant that explosion that went on in my neighborhood. Did my microphone pick it up? No. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Not at all. Did a transformer go off? No, I think someone's shooting off fireworks. <laughs> I heard that one. All right. Yeah. That yeah. One. Uh, Galathar, if you ever need a place to stay in the Fey, come looking for me because that was fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, I'll smack never in the face for 10 HP. <laughs>
Thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.